It's alright, neither do we. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if anything. Alright, this matchup is gonna be really cool. Um, so, our number one seed, Mr. Untouchable, is gonna be playing his signature Dark Samus. Uh, oh, number one? I thought Kobe was number one seed. I, wait, is Kobe today? Is Kobe number one? I thought Untouchable was one, but maybe Kobe was one in Untouchable. Probably, yeah. That actually makes that makes, that makes sense. No, no offense to Untouchable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Kobe, that makes sense. I honestly didn't even realize Kobe was here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I haven't. I'll let him know that. Yeah. <laughs> I'll let him know you said that, sir. Yeah. I'm super happy he's here. I just, I didn't even realize. I was too busy getting set up for the other tournament. No so. worries. <laughs> but yeah, okay, good. Kobe is here. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Then Untouchables too. Um, which, that's, that makes sense. Yeah. Um, hopefully we can see those two duke it out. His name should have like, it's like, this is Untouchables. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. oh, I'm kidding. True that. Um, but, I mean, Lucky 2, also really good Joker. Um, Zen Kai's funny about him, and I watched him, of course, uh, knock out my Sonic player. Yeah. Um, oh, you have a Sonic player. I do have a Sonic oh player, and he actually, Lucky 2 actually took, like, full hit. He's like, your Sonic's really good. Yeah. I am proud of it. Both <laughs> the other Judge Knight are just, like, so happy about it. And Sonic's insane. The He's very under, yeah. underestimated oh, in, uh, in most situations. Yeah. The way that I saw oh, like, you know, back there. Oh, like, yeah, back there for sure. Like, Slackerfield just needs to be able to get into um, Untouchable Bubble and actually make it touchable for someone. Sure. We actually saw... This matchup, we had a Joker... Joker Zelda. Yep. That's what it was. Zelda really. Tuesday, right? Yep. And that one was, it's kind of a similar fight, honestly, except for Zelda gets in a little more, especially to new Zelda. So what you're going to see here is a lot of basically stalling, a lot of zoning, utilizing that range. It's something that Untouchable does great. Um, oh, yeah. And when you do get, manage to get inside of his rockets and his blasters and his grab, and, and if you get inside, he really utilizes... I was just about to show you that up B is up B, and he just he just gets that range again. I know it, it's like, and it's so weird to see it too, because like this is a matchup that on paper Joker shouldn't fail, right? No. Yeah. But then we forget that like the one, the player, and two. Oh. Dark Samus and Samus such sleeper picks, and oh, that yeah. is a group right there only taking seventy five percent of damage. Yeah. Yeah, that blaster was nasty. Oh, he was yeah. he'd be able to fit that in perfectly. Like, I think Lackey is getting a little bit of ground here. Able to get 20% of damage. He can get out of that thing as well. He can, he's got our set here. If he can get a kill right here, and instantly get into a nice quick combo, but he's got to stay out of it. Yeah. He and, needs a kill. And that's the unfortunate part, too. Unless you're playing, like, unless you're used, like, playing the spacing game, and that is going to be extremely hard for Lackey to actually deal damage. Oh, my gosh. And not, you know, get hurt for it. Like, because right now, Untouchable is just, hey, if you're going to attack me, I'm going to make sure it's not worth it. Yep. And that's what Repeatedly. Oh, that was huge. Nice back air. He tries to play that edge guard, but... Oh, no. Is this it? Oh, he lives. Luckily, the only edge oh, guard Oh, and he right. went for it. Oh, that forward air. That was beautiful. I was going to say, like, luckily, you know, back throw from Samus' is the up throw. And then I realized, oh, you're going to go out and stare this man. <laughs> it's like three stock. As a dark Samus. <laughs> it's like, you got to wonder, it's like, man, I'd rather just play the original against the original Samus yeah. or something like that. Yeah, true that. Yeah, that was, I mean, that was done really well. Um, and I wonder where this map is going to go. It's a good question. They're not taking it to the Kalos, right? On the counter? I don't think so. No, Kalos, and that's the thing. If you, they go to Kalos, like, and I'm pretty sure you've seen it from Ezra earlier. I'm pretty sure. Like, Kalos, okay, great. Okay, that's, this makes more sense. Kalos would be oh, super wow. beneficial. Yeah, that works, just... But it doesn't yeah. matter if yeah. you're using Sephiroth. Hey, that's right. So this is... this. <laughs> Um, Untouchable normally doesn't pull out his Dark Samus until pretty late in the bracket. He likes to play some of his pocket picks. He's been really working on this uh, Sephiroth. And we've seen um, But 
he brought it out first. He respected the Joker right off the bat, and oh, yeah. then and then felt pretty good about it. So he's like, you know what? I want to bring out the Sephiroth. I have a game to spare. If I mess up, oh yeah. Oops, so, and really like, oh no, oh no, he's gonna stab. Oh, oh no, thank gosh. oh gosh. Go. This is me. Like, why? Why did we just say oh no? Like it was the only word that we did. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, we, I mean, it was, you know, it's not the first time we've seen that attack just absolutely obliterate someone on the edge. I mean, it's Sephiroth. Like, you've seen him cut planet. Yeah. I think we can both agree that Lucky 2 has such a huge catch up with me. Yeah. A good awareness on the Makara Karn, though, able to get rid of those flares. But losing Arsene, getting like that. No, but... Oh, wow! Arsene at the exact time, too. That was crazy. He's insane. Um, yeah. That timing. And the thing is, I was, and you were just saying too, like, yeah, he, he respected Joker. I was thinking, you know what? What if he just did this? Like, hey, you are just this ish. Yeah. Dark Samus, so I'm going to throw out, use the Sephiroth to come throw you off the game. Yep, totally. And, yeah, I agree. Like, one game where he sets up, it's fine, and I think right now it's a really working favor for. Yeah. Um, on top of Well, and I mean, it changes the way you fight almost completely in comparison to Dark Samus. Not a very similar fight, even though it's not still up for a 40 crazy range. Oh yeah. Um, he's able to zone the thing incredibly well, but you know, not quite like Samus. And you get punished way more. Oh, oh my gosh, oh. beautiful counter. And he still got the players off of him with sand counter. Like, yep. Okay. That was oh, oh no. Unlucky the SD. Yeah, I, I guess he tried to drag him down. Yeah. He went for a nice cheeky. Yeah. I, <laughs> I just thought we were about to get another. <laughs> it's like, hey, I guess this, you know, let me stop, right? Yep. <laughs> like, he's trying. Just, it's just so smart. And I mean, like, it doesn't give an untouchable enough time to actually punish it, too. Yeah, no. Because, like, if he did, it, like, the, the rebel guard would just, like, just run it away. Right, yeah. Oh! Oh was he goodness. trying to just drag him down? Yeah, that was super strange. And there's the Arsene. You know, if Untouchable can... Oh, man, he's got to stay out of those combos, though. Okay. Good awareness. Oh, nice smash. And the thing is, Sephiroth does have that comeback mechanic, so he could feasibly... I would say feasibly bring this game back and it yeah, could quick. look like that because of the, the, the uh, one win danger. Yeah. If he can Yeah, this this right here, the damage that he can throw out. Is oh my goodness. He held it too! And he put the Oh no. Oh. Just calling him out on these things and they trade him. Dude, this is just like two heavyweight hitters just banging back and forth. Joker Arsene versus the one week Angel Sephiroth. There's just like, holy man. I mean, they're both technically a kill percentage. Oh my gosh, um, but I think that Sephiroth just, no way. I cannot oh. believe he held out that long. What a, what a, <laughs> no balls. Oh no my balls. gosh. The down air. <laughs> Trying to hit him with that forward air. And you see, like, Lackey 2, like, has to be able to get, I think, what he's trying to do, maybe get his joke, his heart set back in order, but, you know, like I said, both players at kill percentage, it's so hard when, if you get close to him, you die. Yeah. So, like, what are you supposed oh! to do? Oh! Put the back there into the oh my Stintilla. And Untouchable is going to take it. Two games to zero 